In this video, we're going to discuss oil burners and how they operate and the components of an oil burner. This is the assembly of an oil burner that has been removed from the furnace itself to uh, show you the components that you will find. Just the external portions of it we have in front of it is the oil pump. This pump is actually designed to generate about 100 psi of oil pressure uh, at the discharge to go to the nozzle that's on the inside of the uh, burner tube. And this is actually the, the burner tube, which is this portion is external of the furnace. And at this plate, this flange, will be the portion that will be inside of the combustion chamber of the furnace. And this will produce the flame outside of the uh, burner to, um, to create heat inside of the combustion chamber. Other components, here will be the air intakes. There will be multiple air intakes around this burner and an air shutter to be able to adjust it to control the amount of air mixture with the fuel burning. So by adjusting this, you can increase or decrease the amount of excess air for the, the burner. You can see the, the pump a little bit better now. Attached to the pump is the discharge tube or the discharge line going to the inside of the burner where the, uh, the nozzle and, and the igniter is located. You can see if you can see the inside of the, uh, the burner. This is a retention head. It's almost kind of like a turbine, but it's a retention head which is designed to uh, swirl air with the oil, which is in a mist, to create a, a certain type of uh, flame pattern. There's many different types of flame patterns you may have. One may be a hollow cone or a solid cone. Uh, or it could be a combination of both of those together. In its very center is the nozzle. And the nozzle is mounted here. And just above the nozzle would be where the electrodes are to ignite the oil uh, from the burner pump. This portion of it is the, the motor, which drives the blower on the inside of the blower assembly. Inside the blower assembly is a blower wheel which be able to pull the air in through the shutters again, which you see here, pull air in from the blower wheel. The motor is driving the blower wheel, but also this same motor is controlling through a coupler the oil pump. So that one motor on this side here drives the blower wheel on the inside, but also the oil pump. A couple other components is the very top of it is the, uh, the ignition transformer. It's a high voltage step up transformer which will produce between 8 to 10,000 volts, very high voltage but low current to make a spark to, uh, to control the, the flame of the or the ignition of the flame for the uh, oil mist from the nozzle. Open it up so you can see it. Basically, it would be these electrodes coming from the transformer, and it, these electrodes will uh, bring it up closer so you can see it. And let's see if we can bring it in anymore. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it, but these electrodes is designed to